Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new, it's the Hermes Bronzer. This was on the John Lewis website for a little while. I don't think there was much in stock and it isn't there now. So maybe they received a little bit of stock and then removed it. They probably put it up too early. From what I understand, this is going to be released around about the first week of March. I got this in just the one shade. I got it in number two Atlas. There are five shades available. And also there are going to be two highlighters as well. One in a coral highlighter and also in a rose as well. But today I've just got the one. It is in shade 02 Atlas. So this is quite a light bronzer and it also is quite warm as well. I've also got a whole lot of other bronzers in front of me and I'm going to swatch them so you can see them in comparison to the new Hermes one. So this is the outside packaging of it. This does have a huge 18 grams of product in it. So this is really big. It's bigger than the Chanel bronzer and also bigger than the Charlotte Tilbury one as well. I also understand that the highlighters are 18 grams as well. Now with a bronzer, you can use quite a lot of product and those of you that don't have many bronzers would probably hit pan on this even though it is quite a big size. But when it comes to a highlighter, you really don't use as much as that. So I don't quite understand why they would have put that in 18 grams. So I'll just open this up so you can take a look. So the standard boxing on the outside. And then inside it has the lovely, it's the Hermes orange box. And then you just slide it open and... There is the bronzer. So it's the same type of packaging that they have for their blushes. Now, last year I tried the Hermes, the Plain Air. It was their foundation and I just thought that was absolutely awful. I do love the Hermes lipsticks and I really enjoy the Hermes blushes as well. I have one of those and I think it is really beautiful. So it is just the standard packaging and as I said, this is in shade 02 in Atlas. This bronzer is made in Italy and it has a shelf life of, let's take a look at the bottom of the packet, it has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening. So let's take a look at this bronzer and if I remember I also took a picture of this in natural light as well so I'll put that up beside me here if I remember to put that up when I'm editing. So here is the bronzer, it has a generous size mirror inside because this is quite a large pan of bronzer and it does have that beautiful detailing on it as well. So I've also just turned down the light a little bit in front of me just so you can have a good look at this. It is really lovely embossing in this. I think it is really beautiful and right in the middle there you have the H for the Hermes and this product just like the Hermes blush when you open it it does have that really distinctive Hermes fragrance and on the back of the packaging here it says this is a gentle formula made with 87% ingredients of natural origin contains hyaluronic acid derivative and enhances all skin types even sensitive. It says it is a semi-matte mineral powder. It's a trio of sunny colors and it has a natural sun-kissed finish. Now when this bronzer was listed on the John Lewis website, it was for sale for, and I'm just gonna double check with the notes in front of me, it was for sale for 87 pounds. So this is quite an expensive bronzer. The Hermes lipsticks and the other products that they have as well, they're quite pricey too. So it's not surprising given the amount of product that's in this bronzer and the prices that they've put out with their other makeup products that this is on the high end. Now I have worn this bronzer and I do think it is really beautiful. The shade here is more on the lighter side for me. It does work and it also goes on initially quite light and it is buildable. Now they do have the other four shades, this being number two. Number one is lighter again, so that's really good, those with those really light complexions. 
and just from the look of the pictures it is really hard to tell but the ones from three to five they look deeper and they also it appears to have a little bit of a reddish undertone in them as well so I'll swatch this on my arm for you so you can take a look and I'm just swirling all through the pan and I will swatch this on my arm so you can take a look. So you can see that this is quite a light shade and it's also fairly warm as well. So I'm going to try this bronzer on for you to have a look at. As I was saying, I have also got a whole lot of bronzers in front of me and I will do comparison swatches a bit later on. What I'm actually doing is two videos in one. So I'm doing this Hermes bronzer one and then I'm also doing another one with a new Chanel eyeshadow or a second video on that because I've already done the first video on it and I'm doing comparisons with that Chanel new spring quad as well with the Chantecai one. So I'm going to do the two videos at once. So I'll put this bronzer on and then I'll be videoing my other video and then once I've got my full face of makeup on then I will come back and we'll do the comparison swatches with the other bronzers. So I've got all my base makeup on and I've also got powder on as well. I've got the Chanel the Natural Finish Loose Powder on today and just like with all my other videos everything that I will have on my face today I will have listed and linked below for you to take a look at. So I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the Niji Pro, this is probably my favourite bronzing brush so I'm going to take this one and just swirl all through the pan and when I first put it on don't tend to see quite a lot of product. I suppose the shade 03 might be better for me, although this is buildable. So like I was saying, this does have the fragrance, but once you put it on, really that fragrance disappears. Those of you that don't like fragrance and <laughs> their makeup products won't like this, but I think the fragrance in the Hermes makeup products are really, really beautiful. So just with the one dip in the pan, there is a very slight warmth starting to come through. I think that this powder is silky smooth and I think it goes on the skin really, really beautifully. So I'm just going to go in it again and I'm just going to show you how this does build up. So I'm just going to go over again and then you can see it start, just start to build up. So I do think that it gives a really beautiful warmth to the skin. So again, I'm just going to swirl in and now I'm going to do the other side. And I do like the shade for me. I do like it that it is buildable. Sometimes with darker shades, I can wear them but I do have to go fairly carefully into the pan, like very, very lightly. Whereas with this one, it wouldn't matter if I just swirled the brush in too much. It wouldn't go too deep for me. So this is warm and I just think it looks really lovely. I do love the way that this blends. I think it blends really, really beautifully. And I would agree with what they said. It is a, it's a semi matte. It's not, it's not a flat matte. I think it's very flattering for my mature skin. It doesn't emphasise anything that I don't want it to, and I just think it goes on really, really beautifully. So when I put this bronzer on, it reminds me of the Chanel one, the oversized ones that came out last year. And I do have two shades in that, so I'll be using those as part of my comparison swatches. But I think this looks really lovely. As I was saying, it applies really, really beautifully and it is buildable. And I think the shade is really nice. It's a shade that I would continue to use although when they are released I possibly would pick up 
shade three for me as well and have both of them just like I did with the Chanel I picked up the medium and the deep and I do use both of those bronzers but I think this looks really lovely so now I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup doing my other video and when I come back we'll do some comparison swatches so now let's take a look at some of the other bronzers in comparison with this really lovely Hermes one and now that I've got my full face of makeup on the bronzer just looks I think overall really really beautiful it is a really gorgeous formula so I'm not going to swatch all of them at once I've got quite a few in front of me so I think what I'll do is I'll start off I'm going to do another swatch of the Hermes one on my arm and then as many as I can fit I will put alongside so again I'm just going to swirl into this Hermes one Next is the Chanel. This is the oversized ones that were released last year. And this is the shade medium. So I'll just go over that again. So both are quite warm. And next I'll do the Chanel oversized bronzer. And that is in the shade deep. So here is the Chanel. This is in shade deep so this is cooler than the Hermes one next I've got the Dior this is the forever bronze and this is in the shade 05 and this is another Dior forever bronze and this is in the shade 06 so 06 is definitely cooler than the Hermes the 05 is more warmer Next is Shantakai, and this is in the shade Goa. I'll just swatch over that again. So again, more cooler. This also has that really undertone. Then we have Gucci, and this is in shade 03. And then the last, as I'm running out of room, this is Tom Ford, and this is in the shade, this is Terra. So I've got the Hermes, this is Chanel in medium, Chanel in deep, Dior Forever 05, Dior Forever 06. Then we've got Chantakai in Goa, Gucci in shade 03, and lastly the Tom Ford in Terra. So I've washed those ones off, and now we'll start off, this is Victoria Beckham, and this is in 02 just swatch between the two shades that come with that Victoria Beckham brick so that is shade 02 Victoria Beckham this is Guerlain Terracotta and this is a shade 04 in deep cool this is another Guerlain one Terracotta and this is shade 03 medium warm and this is another Guerlain one, Terracotta. I love these bronzers. And this is 05, and this is in Deep Warm. And then the last bronzer I have, this is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and this is number 3. So this is a cooler bronzer. So this is the Hermes. This one is Victoria Beckham. The bronze brick in 02. This is terracotta, the Guerlain terracotta light in 04 deep cool. Again, the other Guerlain one in 3 medium warm. And the last Guerlain one that's in 05 deep warm. And finally, we've got the Charlotte Tilbury in shade 3. So hopefully the swatches of all those bronzers are helpful and will help you decide which shade to get if you decide to purchase this new Hermes bronzer. This is definitely more on the pricey side, although it does have that 18 grams of product. People who love Hermes 
they are going to love this bronzer. It is really beautiful. It has a really beautiful silky texture and I think that it blends out really, really beautifully. As I was saying earlier though, although this shade does work for me and I think it is wonderful how it does build, I do think I'll probably get shade 03. In New Zealand, this is probably going to cost about somewhere around probably $180, $190, which is a lot of money for a bronzer. So the amount of money that you spend or want to spend, that's entirely a personal decision for you to make. But hopefully I've helped you make this decision showing this bronzer and also comparing it to the other bronzers as well. I think it's really lovely. I do think it is quite expensive, definitely on that higher end though you do get quite a lot of product. And the product itself is just absolutely beautiful and you won't be disappointed with it. I think it is really, really gorgeous. And I'm also interested with the highlighters when they come out as well. I'm not sure whether I would go for the rose or the coral one. Probably maybe the rose color more than the coral. It really depends. I'll see if I can watch some videos first and see swatches of it before I decide. But overall, I think the bronzer is really beautiful. It just depends whether you want to spend that much on a bronzer. So that's it for today's video. I'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed. And I will see you next time. Bye.